Shelly Keller says, Robert, my daughter is dating a non-Catholic, and I've been praying that she would meet and marry a Catholic man. Do I stay quiet or say something? Yeah, Shelly, you're going to need to say something early. Um, and this it would be something like this. It would be, okay, um, um, John, I'm going to let you date my daughter. It would be good to know how old your daughter is, too. I mean, if she's like 17, that's one thing. If she's 22, 25, she's still living home, that's another thing. Um, but I'm assuming she's still under your authority and she's in her teens. Um, I'll assume that for the time being. Um, you have to tell her and you're going to have to sit down and have her tell him. Or if she's not going to do it, you're going to have to do it. But you say, okay, we're dating now, but I just want you to know that if it ever gets serious, my daughter cannot marry a non-Catholic. Just say that right up front. And he either says, well, we don't have to worry about that because we're not getting married or... Um, um, well, um, I'll have to think about that. Okay. But you got the ball rolling. You planted it in his mind. Okay. Now this is if, you know, your, your daughters insist on their own, um, going out with this Protestant guy. Okay. Um, and you are thinking ahead for her. Okay. Normally, as you say, you would want her to go out with a Catholic guy. But if the Protestant guy, he's a responsible guy, honorable, he's got all the, the good things you're looking for in a husband, hard worker, loves God, you know, all this stuff. And you, but you, and, and so you have an interesting prospect, but you tell him right up front. Okay. Tell him right up front. If this ever gets serious, my daughter cannot marry you. And she has to agree to that too. So you have a nice sit down with her. And the way the way we would want to handle that is you become a Catholic. Are you open to that? And if he says, no, I hate Catholics. Or, you know, I'm just dating your daughter who's a Catholic. Who's, uh, you know, you know it, it would be kind of odd for him to be dating a Catholic if he hated Catholics. I admit that. But if he has any reticence to that, then you, you got to be careful and She's got to put God above her, you know, her love life. Okay. And got to do the right thing because, boy, you never want to make a mistake in that realm because that's a mistake that'll last forever. You'll be suffering the repercussions of that forever. Okay. If perchance they happen to get married, the next line of attack is okay well if you plan on getting married because she might be of an age where she can decide for herself the daughter um he has to promise that you can raise the children catholic if you get a dispensation from the church that this protestant is okay to marry you can marry under this condition that is you raise the children catholic would you agree to that mr smith and so these things have to be talked about and they need to be talked about early. And it's, you know, some people are afraid, well, I, I'll, I'll look like I'm putting pressure on him, you know, to get married to my daughter or something. No, not at all. You're just looking at life right down the microscope. And you're seeing what the future is going to hold and you want to take care of that right now. Nothing wrong with that at all. Okay. All right. 